Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Alright, example number 6. So, here we have a block. Okay, 2 kg block is pushed against a light spring of the force constant K equal to 400 Newton per meter. Okay, so kita tolak, kita compresskan spring itu means that kita tolak spring tu ke kiri. So, the value of X is given 0.22 meter. That's mean the spring compress 0.22 meter. So, what happen when the block is released? So, when the block is released, kita take off the applied force yang kita compresskan spring tadi. So, the spring will back to its uh, initial length. So, what happen to the block? The block will move along a frictionless horizontal surface and then up a frictionless inclined plane. Okay, so given that, the angle here is 37. Okay. So, A, calculate the speed of the block as it slides along the horizontal surface after lifts the spring. Okay, maknanya kalau kita lukis, ha, kita nak tahulah. Ha, asalnya tadi kat sini V dia kosong. So, kat sini berapa? Okay, when we try to release the block. So, let's say A by using the conservation of energy. Okay, this is when, so initial condition when the spring is compressed and final condition when the block is released from the spring. Okay, and then spring back to its original length. So, initial energy, mestilah kita ada elastic potential energy sebab spring itu compress. Objek tidak bergerak, so no kinetic energy. Okay, uh, kalau kita tulis ini point A dan ini point B. Okay, senang kita nak discuss. So, at point B, so what happened? The block is moving with a speed of V. Okay. But at this moment, okay, the spring back to its initial length. So, tak ada dah elastic potential energy. So, spring tu dah tak compress ataupun uh, dia dah tak expand. Okay. Uh, so, dia hanya ada kinetic energy of the block dekat point B. So, kita just masukkan sajalah. This is very simple. Okay. So, half second. So, so, I want to find what is V. Okay. So, we can find V. Therefore, V is equal to Kx squared over M. Jangan lupa take the square root. Okay. So, V you akan dapat 3.11 meter per second. Okay. Means that, okay, at the bottom of the inclined plane here, V is equal to 3.11 meter per second. Okay, so now let's look at question B. Calculate the distance travelled by the block up the inclined plane before it slides back down. Okay, so maknanya dia akan mula daripada sini. Okay, daripada sini. So dia akan naik atas sini. Okay, uh, so kita nak kira berapa distance travelled by the block. Okay, uh, before it slides back down. So kalau dia nak turun bawah semula, Mestilah dia akan sampai maximum height dia. So, V dekat sini seolah-olah dia akan stop. Okay, and then dia akan patah balik. Kan, sama juga macam kita belajar free fall dulu. Kita baling bola ke atas. Sampai maximum height V equal to zero. Ha, dia akan stop sekejap. Lepas tu dia akan change its direction. And the ball is moving downward. Sama juga macam case ni. Ha, masa dekat point C, dia akan kita kena consider V is equal to zero. Sebab dia dah kata dah, before the block slides back down. Ha, dia akan patah balik nanti. Okay. So, here we have a change of kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, so, kita boleh guna formula uh, work energy theorem. Okay. So, kalau saya tulis WT, okay, W total equal to delta K. Okay. So, in this case, we need to draw the free body diagram. Okay. So, we can draw here. Let's say this is the block tadi. Okay. Kita akan ada weight. Sama je macam kes sebelum ni. Kita akan ada WX. Okay. Kita ada WX dan WY. Kan? Ha, S bergerak ke sini. Okay. So, the only force yang kita ada adalah WX. Frictional force tak ada. Frictionless. Okay. 
So W total, we can write that W total is equal to WX S cos 180 degree. Okay, since the direction of S in this direction and WX in opposite direction. So the angle between them is 180 degree. Alright, okay. So now half MV squared minus half MU squared. Okay, so V is equal to 0. Alright, so WX kita boleh masukkan nilai adalah MG sin 37. S kita nak cari. Cos 180 is negative 1. Equal to negative half M. Mm, U kita adalah. Mana U kata? U ada tak? Okay, U kita dah kira tadi 3.11 squared. Okay. Ha, jadi kat sini kita boleh cancel lah M ha, Nak masukkan pun boleh Nak cancel pun boleh Ok negatif pun saya cancel Ok kita hilangkan negatif Therefore you boleh cari S equal to 3.11 squared over Ok 2 times G adalah 9.81 times sin 37 Ok Boleh eh ha, MG sin 37 ok cuba tekan kalkulator dapat tak 0.82 meter ok awak cuba check alright so finish example number 6 alright example 7 so here we have a person of mass 50 kg runs 200 meter up a straight road incline at angle of 20 degree in 50 seconds ok so let's say here as usual we have the incline plane ok so, let's say this is the person. Okay, so this person will move up the inclined plane. Okay, where S is equal to 200 meter. So, here is the angle. Okay, and it is 20 degree. Okay, so it's moving 50 seconds. In 50 seconds, Okay, so the displacement travel is 200 meter up the inclined plane. A, calculate the work done. Okay, so calculate the work done. So W total is equal to F net S cos theta. Okay, so in this case, uh, the only force yang ada adalah, uh, friction tak ada. Okay, dia adalah berat dia lah. Uh, so kalau kita lukis free body diagram kan on the inclined plane sebenarnya sama je macam yang sebelum ni sepadam yang inilah so, kita letak on the inclined plane ok so apa-apa objek on the inclined plane weight is straightly downward ok weight is straightly downward here so kita akan ada WX dan juga WY ok so angle dekat sini adalah 20 degree ok so WX dia akan jadi W sin 20 degree WY is W cos 20 degree Ok, cos dengan sin tu jangan tertukar Tengok angle tu dekat dengan siapa Kalau angle duduk sebelah Y So WY yang akan jadi cos Kalau angle duduk sebelah X So WX yang akan jadi cos Ok, so in this case okay, Kalau kita lukis kita punya free body diagram Ok so kita hanya ada WX ok and then the object is moving in this direction ok so kalau nampak S ke kanan WX ke kiri so the angle between them is 180 degree so kalau saya akan masukkan dekat sini WX S cos 180 degree so this is equal to negative 1 ok so WX equal to MG sin 20 degree times dengan S so bolehlah kira ok negative mg sin 20 awak kira masukkan m dia dah masukkan 50 ha, kira lah eh. so dapat 167.76 S is 200 meter therefore kita akan dapat 3.36 exponent 4 joule ok so negative means that Work done by the person Okay, to against his weight ha, Dia nak lari kan, dia ada berat badan dia Okay, so work done by the person To against his weight Okay, so 
Kita akan dapat jawapan Okay Next B Calculate the average power of the person So the average power is equal to delta W over delta T Okay So work done Okay So work done to against his weight uh, So kita dah tahu dah Maknanya orang itu uh, Budak itu membuat kerja sebanyak 3.36 times 10 power of 4 joule Ini kerja yang akan dilakukan untuk dia bergerak sejauh 200 meter Untuk dia lari naik incline plane tadi Okay So what is the power, average power of the person So dia boleh naik 200 meter tadi in 50 seconds So kita dah kira the total energy Okay the total energy daripada orang tersebut Okay, the total work done by the person is 3.36. Okay, so kita bagikan dengan masa 50 seconds. So, you akan dapat power is equal to 671.04 watt. Okay, boleh eh? Alright, so we finish example number 7. So, let's proceed to the next question. Okay, so example number 8. So here we have a fork lift generates 3000 watt of power when lifting a car 3 meter in the air in 10 seconds. Okay, uh, kalau kita lukis maknanya ni kita mula-mula ada kereta. Kita lukis sikit kereta kita walaupun tak cantik. Okay, so the fork will lift the car upward. Okay, at certain height, until certain height. So let's say this is the car. Okay, and given that H is 3 meter. Okay, so the time taken to lift the car is 10 seconds. So given that the power of the lift is 3000 watt. Okay, this one is very easy. How much work does the fork lift do? Okay, so power is equal to W over T. Therefore, we can calculate W is equal to P times T. Okay, uh, ini senang lah selalunya Really straightforward Okay, so the answer is 3 times 10 power of So the answer is equal to 3 times 10 power of 4 joule Very easy Okay, and then B How, and then B What is the mass of the car So we can use equation W is equal to the change of the gravitational potential energy Kan? Uh, maknanya bila kita uh, naikkan kereta itu ke atas Kita melakukan kerja Okay? Kita ada uh, perubahan energy So means that when the object is moving upward Okay? So there is a change of potential energy So ada kerja yang dilakukan oleh lift tadi Okay? So kita boleh gunakan maklumat yang inilah so, kita ada 3 exponent 4 is equal to mgh final minus mgh initial. So, initially no height so equal to 0. Therefore, we can find the mass of the car m. So, m is equal to 3 times 10 power of 4 over g is 9.81 and the height of the car, the final height is 3 meter. Okay, so the mass is 1019.4 kg. Boleh. Okay, so finish example number 8. So let's proceed to example number 9 and 10 in the next video. Okay, so jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.